Okay, um, I'm very pleased to have been asked to uh, participate in this Poetry Without Borders um, art event. And it's a topic close to home. I won't go into any personal detail other than to say um, I'm a product of borders, like all of us. And um, I've lived, my mom's from Germany. She grew up with the borders closing in of being bombed by the Americans. I grew up in America. Now I live in Taiwan, where the island is being circled by Chinese airplanes threatening us, demanding that we comply with their, com their, their use of force rather than voting on our own destiny within Taiwan. And I was in Czechoslovakia in the 80s when I was in my early 20s as an exchange student on a, a work camp exchange reforesting project, reforestation project north of Prague. And then I spent a month in Czechoslovakia and I ended up in Košice where I met um, really nice students uh, during the summer in the the, the university there. from uh, Some of them were from Africa. I learned a lot from them. Anyway, so on, on Poetry Without Borders, um, Poetry Without Borders, on the one hand, suggests language that engages others in our necessary misunderstandings across borders. But like Doctors Without Borders, making house calls Poets without borders need good bedside manners, need to be kind. But the highest kind of kindness would be not to have to read a poem in the first place. And that is the aim of poetry without borders. Borders without the need for poetry. On the other hand, borders are points forced into lines after Kandinsky. And the points are lives interrupted in their happy crisscrossing across borders. Personally, borders make me nervous, waiting, suffering. Poetry becomes sexual release, diverted to borders. It's not fair to the poet, you see. If not for border interruptus, forcing poetry, life without borders would drastically reduce the need for doctoring at checkpoints and that really means poetry. Poetry for me is minutia, not one of not of not of one scene, but many. Metonymy. Line to line and even within the line, borders are crossed. Metaphors are driven away. The metaphors poets drive doctor the minutia of faraway places. Thus poems pivot upon possibilities for infiltrating infrastructures so as to inoculate borders before one even nears one. Poetry ushers in hopes of borderlessness and ideal translations so that we may turn around anywhere and move on from the business of kindness to love. Thank you. Toy Drone does it matter whose searchlights lifted off the ridge to pin us down? Bulldogs lent their gruff legs under beaming magnolias. Now you ask how we lost our favorite clown point blank, just passing through sidelines in the sand of slogans set in motion. It feels like it feels to swivel at twenty paces, only to find yourself surrounded ear to ear with the wind. It creeped us the way sunrise fondles foothills as the fog burns off. I know we vowed never to open that box again and never close it. The idea stands on relays, what swings the axe, which particles blink in the fiber of ether grinding to an act. I mean mobs still assemble, but ghosts of what burned out to correct incursions, bruises, kid gloves and valley talk flicking fingers in order, silence broken, 
in peanut galleries a sense of an ending rose with the moon tipping the back story held sway doing its thing those daffodils were really poppies crossing the fertile bank where everyone spread out taking cover to look for the ninth planet crawling on elbows then tumbling on board knees to chest squeezing in for the long haul hoping to reach the past with us of all people before a second snow thank you